Okay, hello again YouTubers. And today I have something a little bit different. Um, if you're like me, you use YouTube to find out how to do all sorts of interesting things. And today I'm going to show you how I've been trimming down 223 brass into 300 blackout brass. And there's a bunch of videos online of, of people, they've got the little, this little cutter that you get from Harbor Freight with a jig and putting it in by hand and then there's another guy he's got a video of uh, a piece of wood and cutting a bunch of them at a time on a table saw and I thought about doing that but gosh that's a lot of work and I thought there's got to be a better way so uh, I devised this little contraption here and it uses a, a case feeding drum kind of like you've seen or might have seen on uh, some of the uh, neck and kneeling machines that are out there. So this has only got one drum and I actually used most of the parts. I, I, I bought the little uh, Harbor Freight chop saw and I disassembled it and it's screwed together so it comes apart pretty easy and I used the little two inch blade and the shaft that it goes on and I'll show you um, after I'm done um, demonstrating the machine I'll show you the workings on the back um, so I used most of the parts when I used the motor and I used the switch and the drive belt and all that stuff and you know so that saved me a lot of money so that thing was only like 20 bucks 25 bucks and then my little case feeding drum here is just cut out of a piece of uh, two by four uh, with a hole saw and then I drilled the, uh, the little case um, slots on there and I got a little 12 volt motor to turn that off of Amazon for about 12 bucks and then I picked up a, an on off switch here and a little rheostat so I can control the the feed rate of the shells and I'm going to demonstrate this and usually I've got a guard or I have this guard over here uh, this stuff is just some ABS plastic eighth inch ABS plastic I had lying around and you know you just heat it up and you can bend it so I, I made a guard so the the brass and you know it doesn't go flying and you don't accidentally cut your finger off with that blade because it's going pretty fast so uh, I'll show you here my on off switch for the saw so once I turn this thing on it's pretty loud so you won't be able to hear me so I'll just I'll turn it on and demonstrate it and then uh, I'll show you the inner workings on the back Okay, so it, it pretty much, you know, just will truck along like that. It took me a long time to figure out all the, the bugs. Um, the saw blade, let me turn this off or unplug this so I don't uh, hurt myself. Uh, so the shells, you know, it was hard to get them to um, so that they wouldn't spin because this blade, you know, that motor's not too strong. So the, the shells couldn't spin. So that's why I've got little little bits of sticky felt in the bottom here and they it holds it pretty nice and snug against this um, this guard that I've got here and all this metal this is just 22 gauge sheet metal I picked up from Lowe's I think it was like six bucks for you know two foot by one foot piece so all that you know was was uh, pretty easy to come by um, uh, the blade you know if it doesn't uh, get cutting right away if it gets hung up it's just it'll seize the whole thing up so um, my rheostat I can adjust the feed rate um, and that's why I cut four holes in there because you know it, it's got to move it that slow it can't go any faster that motor's just not powerful enough and this thing will cut um, I think a dozen in a minute I timed it out at um, so anyway that's uh, that's that let me show you the back here So 
So this is a little, it's a little 5 RPM gear motor I picked up off of Amazon, like I said, 12 bucks. And here's the motor for the, the drive. And then that little rheostat um, speed, variable speed control, you know, was again off of Amazon for that was like 10 bucks. And it, you know, this and this, it said, oh, fre frequently bought together. So I said, why not? Uh, and then I needed a 12 volt um, power converter, so you know this thing only draws like half an amp, not even. So you know this is just a little like a phone charger that I that I wired in um, to to power that. So I only have one cord coming from the wall, 120 volts, because this is an AC motor and this is a DC motor. So I had to have an AC to DC converter there. Um, and then, you know, just some angle aluminum bracketry. So pretty much you can, this is all pretty easy to do. The only thing that I really had uh, to work hard on machining wise was the little, the little shaft, little housing that the shaft runs through. And so to vary the position of this blade how far in and out it is to, to trim these to the right length I actually had to machine a little uh, shaft an axle housing and I pressed the bearings into the ends there and then I have nuts that I can screw it in or out in the board to vary how long those the shells come out um, so that's really the only thing that you know the regular home hobbies can't do um, was that and then the shaft that this is mounted on it's just a you know a quarter inch uh, threaded shaft that's got a um, an attachment or a, a set screw in the back here where the motor shaft goes in with a little with a little I tapped uh, a little set screw in there to, to keep that going um, so that's it so now I can you know sit back and this thing can pump out more shells uh, you know, in a minute, then I can actually resize into uh, 300 blackout. So, you know, I'm just using um, Lake City stuff and, you know, stuff that's got bent necks and things like that. So, uh, that's, uh, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought it was pretty neat, um, you know, and it took me a while to make, but, you know, this is, this is about having fun, I guess. So, I hope you enjoyed it and... Uh, I never asked this before, but, you know, like my videos if uh, you think it's informative. All right. Thanks a lot.